Konnichiwa! Welcome to Kodama Showcase. Kodama Showcase is a weekly program where I show you my favorite koi and talk about them. And this is what I have today for you. Please take a look. It's a very unique and beautiful koi. This koi is called Ginga. Actually, Benny Ginga. I found this koi at Ozumi Ikarashi Koi Farm in Japan. It's female and uh, about 46 centimeters, which is about 18 inches. And two years old, born in 2020. So this is what we have today for you. Hi, this is Taro Kodama from Kodama Koi Farm. We are probably one of the largest importer and distributor of the quality Japanese koi. So if you're looking for really nice quality koi uh, from Japan, uh, just let us know, we can find you a dream koi. My father started this business more than 50 years ago. So we have so many uh, connections, uh, relationship with the breeders. So if I can find them at my farm, I should be able to find them in Japan. Just email me, text me, uh, contact me through Facebook. And if you like this video, please make sure you share this video with a friend. That would be awesome. And give me a lot of likes and leave me any comments. That would be uh, very much appreciated. Okay, so now let's talk about this unique and beautiful koi. Like I said, you know, today's uh, unique beauty is called Beniginga. You may not have heard of this variety since it's not really new, but there are not many breeders who are actually breeding this variety. So it's not really available. So, ging, beni ging, ging, okay, let, how can I define it? Uh, ginga is a metallic scaled matsukawabake. If you remember matsukawabake, it's, it's a black and a white koi, and black always changes. It's a scale koi. And when you convert that matsukawabake to a scaleless koi, that's kumondu. And when you add the shine, the, you know, when you uh, converted to the metallic version of Kumondu, that's going to be Kikokuryu. So now, Beni, uh, Ginga is actually a metallic, uh, Kikoku, metallic uh, Kumondu, but scaled. So it's, it's a little bit confusing. So I'm going to, I will probably try to organize that uh, uh, and then I put that information on this video so that you can see uh, what it is, how you can define it. And Beni Ginga is actually the Ginga with Beni pattern. Beni is a uh, red marking. Okay, so when you look at this kind of unique variety, it's very hard to see, but uh, first thing that I'm gonna check is the shine. You know, being a metallic koi, no matter what the variety is, quality of the shine is number one priority. No matter how good the pattern is, if the shine is poor, the koi doesn't have much value. So the shine, quality of the shine or strength of the shine is the, uh, the first uh, thing to check okay and then uh, we will examine the uniqueness and pattern later on so let's check the shine of this koi if you look at, usually you know when to check the shine we usually check the shoulders here the face here we also look at the pectoral fins you know pectoral fin is thin so it's kind of easy place to check the quality of the shine but uh, anyways, so when you look at this core, you can see, you look at the shine on the shoulders, look at the shine of the face. So this core has a really nice shine. So as a metallic, this is excellent. Now, you know, as a Benny Ginga, how are we gonna appreciate this koi? It's hard because the, the pattern always changes. So I rather look at this, uh, the design. Uh, so look at the design over here. It's actually, there was, when I purchased it, it was just a big, red marking on the face. Now the sumi is coming up and that development of the sumi is creating a very unique pattern here. And then sumi patches coming up, sumi patches coming up. So it's actually, sumi has been placing uh, like a more like a three step patterns on the body. And then quality of the sumi is pretty thick. You know, it, it's deep here. So the quality uh, of the sumi is good, the pattern is balanced yet very unique so that's why i call this unique beauty so usual like you like usual uh koi at the kodama showcase is always available for sale so if you are interested please uh contact me and we can always talk about how we can put this koi in your pond so okay so before we go again please enjoy this uh, unique beauty one more time I really want you to, you know, see the shine of the face, 
quality of the sumi you know nice uh, design of the sumi over here I think you know more sumi may come out over here as well and if possible I'm going to place a picture uh, of this koi when I purchase so that you can see how much this koi has changed in such a short time from last October so okay okay so I hope you enjoyed it I'll see you next week until then stay happy with your koi thank you